Right, farewell, Euston. Time to go to Port Maddock. All change here. spending the previous day aboard the legend that is the epic Snowdonian special, that train that runs the length of both the Fastiniog and Will China's railways, and back again. It was now a gloriously hungover spring Sunday morning in Port Maddock. Chris, as editor of course, had planned ahead and made his way to a safety briefing sensibly. Tom and I, however, were late. Yeah, it's the steam railway boys on tour. That's lads. Lads. Look at what you're talking about. Two nights. It's never not like you're on the graffiti screen. So you're at that. And Tim says, Hello, oh, I'm Tim Dunn. I'm Tim Dunn! What are we doing now? So we are about to do the gravity train on the Festinial Railway. The only place in Britain you can do this. Probably the only place in the world you can do this. We've also brought. <laughs> that might fit in the wagon. Very, very excited. We have come appropriately dressed for the occasion. We are honouring the history of the quarrymen who would do this on a daily basis, riding down the mountain into Port Maddock. And you're wearing my spare waistcoat because you couldn't fit into your other one. Shh! What's lockdown for you? Are you excited? I'm extremely excited. How often do you get to travel? Train. Well, you don't. So I'm very, very excited, as you could probably imagine. Going up towards Min for the station. There is a double fairly, like up ahead, I can see. We're going to have our safety briefing now on how to safely ride a train that has no engine for seven miles down a hill with some brakes. <laughs> We've got to run. Before we go any further, I'd probably best explain what a gravity train is and why the Festiniog has them at all. The Festiniog Railway is, as all railway enthusiasts know, in the top left hand corner of Wales. It was built to connect the booming slate quarries of Blyne Festiniog with the nearest seaport of Port Maddock. From there, slate was transported out to roof buildings the whole world over. The line opened in 1836, engineered brilliantly at an almost continuous gradient of 1 in 80. That meant that trains of loaded slate wagons could freewheel down by gravity, taking about 90 minutes. They were hauled back up by horses, which took a somewhat painful six hours. Incidentally, the horses travelled down by gravity too. From 1863, steam locos replaced horses on the uphill runs and were used for other duties too. But gravity was still being used for downhill slate runs until 1939. Down there is Minforth Yard. It's where slate was shipped from the Western York wagons onto the Great Western Railway. In recent years, a few volunteers have had a large storage shed erected. They've laid a 500 metres of track inside it and fitted it all out to store pre-preservation era slate wagons that are being restored, dozens of them. In fact, there is a wealth of Vestinog Railway heritage in here. Volunteers, in fact, often the younger ones, have been restoring the slate wagons and a few times each year with thorough safety briefings once again run demonstration gravity trains as was seen in the 1860s, hauled up by steam loco and down by, well, gravity. Because of a deviation in the restored railway's route to Tanigrissia Reservoir, there's no longer a constant gradient all the way down the line. So, gravity trains can now only really work from near Mulwyn Tunnel or Theak Spiral. And today, we're guests of the railway to ride in one of those gravity trains. So, with the safety briefing complete... Oh, by the way, sound quality. Sorry, it's not great for the stuff in the wagons. It's metal on metal, scooting around corners for seven miles up, seven miles down. And that is no match, it turns out, for even my microphones. So you might want to turn that stuff down and use the subtitles that I've added in especially to. Enjoy! 
Oh, look, he's got a selfie stick. Oh, we're off. Tom, how does it feel? We're having a wonderful time. The weather is perfect. Beautifully trolled and slick wagons. What's wrong to laugh? This is what Melbourne should be about. This is another big experiment. And Tom, you've got the headcover here. <laughs> oh, the headcover here! Yeah. 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 Uh, original style locomotives. The fairings. Not this one, but this one is here at the railway, the 1870s. Isn't this glorious? Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> and you can see how it's so finished now, the surf drops away. And the current terrain is how it is built in. The genuine flames for side of the valley. Look up there, the Venus of Stimion. Because that's where all the sleep came from, of course, that came down in these wagons, down to the port of Mr. Maddox Port. Here's the little fantastic section of the line. It's a massive embankment, but entirely top strength. Astonishing! This it's is one of the great rail experiences in the world. In all seriousness, this is just everything I love about railways, everything I love about that area, everything I love about railway preservation. This is incredible. I want to know illusions, how lucky we are to eat this. It's a real privilege. Just for him to share it with you. Thank you for joining us. This train comes out maybe six times a year. Going <laughs> back. Well, that was no fun at all, was it, Tom? <laughs> And the chaps, what did you both think of that so far? Because that, that was just the way up. 60 view, steam engines, yeah. and beautiful sunshine. Ah, oh, cracking, right? It is really enjoyable, but what it does do, of course, is you connect with nearly 200 years of history. And what, you know, everywhere you look around this part of the world, there's evidence of the slave industry. Inclines, waste tips, lumps, everywhere, it's just everywhere. And every lump that roofed the world went out in one of these wagons. Yeah, they, they, they call this train, don't they, the, the railway that ate a mountain sometimes, yeah. because it, it, it generally ate up this, this, this entire mountain and took it down on wagons like, like this. How many tonnes of slate each one of these wagons has carted out yeah. during, yeah. during its working life? Where they've ended up? Tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, on roofs where across the world? Isn't it, isn't it splendid to see uh, the real purpose of a railway restored and presented uh, so effectively? So this railway was built for the efficient transportation of slate. Uh, it's built in a wonderfully engineered manner uh, and still to be able to recreate this, this operation to reflect the purpose of the railway engineering, I think it's brilliant. So I'm, I am hugely impressed with the amazing work done by the, the crew here to keep these wagons restored and to maintain the confidence to run them safely. Very impressed by the professionalism of the operation. What's not like? Absolutely tremendous experience. 
absolutely unique. Uh, I mean, on a day like today, it, it makes you, you know, never want to travel in the carriage ever again, really. And, and just, just looking down the train as well, seeing the smiles like everybody. Yes. Everyone's smiling, everyone's enjoying themselves. You've got this wonderful little fern in the front of the So, yeah, it, it couldn't be any better. Could not be any better. As you can see, this is uh, all mod cons. We have got, of course, the uh, special maquette from the First in York and Welsh Highland Railway. A lovely scarf for someone. Right, okay. Station. Brilliant. Half mile from here is the F. It's very good. I'm coming to this. Can it go? Okay, we're just nearing uh, the F station, which is the spiral. 15 miles an hour, it says there. 15 miles an hour. With some brakes. Oh. oh, we are on couples now. Are we are on couples now. We're on couples now. We're only on couples. Good lord. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Hang on. Our engine's just gone. Right, okay. They're in business. <laughs> How are you feeling about this? <laughs> Nervous at all? No. All in control. All in control, absolutely. Final checks. Okay. Check on the, on the brakes. <laughs> Finally, Chris, something that isn't steam in Steam Railway. <laughs> It's all about the brakesman, the brakes people now. Up there. They're in charge. Heavy engine drivers. Guards, we call them. I can really feel the wagon is so pretty and free. You know, I've got a pretty good guess. I think we feel the surge of the wagon turn back and forth because when the train stopped, the train was effectively compressed. Actually, that's part of 50 feet shorter than the road that gets to the road. It's a lovely thing. And there's a canvas that thread.
truly one of the delights of a railway preservation. It's something that people haven't got to do it because it makes money, and it takes out money, quite a lot of money. Um, people, uh, often some of the younger members, have taken this and restored their own wagons and we built them, we constructed them, built them together again, and we assembled them into a ring of fort. There is an aspiration to have our factory with these weapons. Next thing we need, a hundred. The chips are going to break, just look how the train is used to have. That would have been better, right? Yeah, well, there's definitely no engine.
be a nice little threat. He said you can really feel history alive. Thousands of men took millions of tons of state. Terrible conditions. Changed our world. Little trains here take eight amounts of them. They make the roof of the world. And they're volunteers who become a And they're going to be here the hard set. And they can experience This is a real thing. Changed pen room. All changed pen room. Blue one? Blue one? Are you getting off? No pen room. It's coming back to the pen room where the people are in their gardens going, What? It's the vintage. No. What's your reaction? How did you find that? Exhilarating, yeah. mildly bone breaking, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good. That was superb. Tom, how, how, how did you find that? It was visceral. It was like nothing else I've ever experienced. You are travelling completely without any insulation from the outside world. Yeah. You are exposed to all the bumps and the jolts and every sensation. You can feel every vibration going through you. It is. Yeah, I'm, I'm lost for words. It was superb. That's not like you. <laughs> I know, I'm normally a gobby little um, so and so. But yeah. Which is why we do all this. This is railway preservation at its absolute core. You know, this isn't, you know, this is not what the railway does on a day to day basis. It's not commercial. It's not, you know, necessarily swelling the railway's coffers. But this is what the railway was about. This is how the, this is what the Fisting Oak Railway was. For the George Englands, before the double fairies, this is what it did. It took 
trucks up to the slate quarries behind horses, brought them down by gravity. And the fact that we can experience that in modern world with health and safety regulations is an enormous privilege and something that we should really, really treasure. Yeah, it'll stay me for a very, very long time to come. And now the empty coaching stock working, taking it back to the shed, so let's watch them go off to Minfus, down to the yard. How many wagons were there anyway? Uh, 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 uh. Well, there we go, another spectacular day on the FR. You never have a bad day, you know, right? Thank you so much for joining us uh, on this day out. And thank you again, you guys and your team, all the volunteers, all the work that you do. You are ace. Cheers. Oh,